Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, I've got a sweet spot for sweet stops on the Texas Bucket List. And when it comes to cookies, well, you've got my full attention. So when I heard about a cookie maker in Big D that makes baked goods that could be considered a work of art, well, we headed to the Metroplex to meet this cookie. If you ever find yourself in North Haven Park in North Dallas, and you happen to get a whiff of the heavenly smell of hot, fresh cookies, chances are you're close to Monique Smith's house. I could talk about cookies all day long. I know, right? right. <laughs> Monique is one smart cookie. She majored in construction at Texas A&M and has designed and created some incredible homes and buildings. But today, she has a different title. Um, CEO of Smith Enterprises. I like that. <laughs> Running the house. Running the house, <laughs> yes. People ask what I do and I'm like, oh, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And then if I'm with somebody else, they might say, but you make cookies. And I'm like, well, yes, I make cookies. And it's not, you know, I don't, I'm not the mom that makes chocolate chip cookies when my kids come home from school. It's like when my kids go to school, then I go to work and I make cookies for other people. Known as Miss Cookie, Monique makes cookie gifts for all her kooky friends. But these aren't classic cookies she's cranking out. These cookies are much classier. Who knew that construction and cookie making go together so well? It's gonna be hard to eat a work of art. Oh, uh, it's okay. You should do it though, they taste good. So what made you decide to start making cookies? Well, I had for years been looking for kind of a side hustle. I like to be creative. I like to do things. I like to have an activity. I'm not just a sit at home and um, play with the kids kind of thing. I wanted to create something. You started this in February of 2019? Yeah. And in two years, it's exploded. It has, shockingly. There are hundreds of cookie years out there, thousands of cookie years out there, and I never expected it to be what it is now. Cookiers, I never knew there was a word for. There's a word for us. <laughs> we are cookiers. Are you a cookier if you cook cookies or if you eat cookies? Because I could be a cookier. Both, I think both, both yes. I'm, I'm a cookier. You can be a cookie connoisseur. Yes, yeah. yes I am. So these are some examples of the crazy cookies you've made. Yes. So most of these are from cookie classes uh, where I've learned different techniques and honed my cookie making skills. Um, all of these that are on the blackboard I made at CookieCon, so imagine a convention full of cookiers like myself. The detail is unreal from the stacking to the paper to the sugar on the lollipops to the right. lettuce. I mean, the Everything. cheeseburger looks like a, I'm like, I'm, I, I, I figured if I bit into that it would taste like it a cheeseburger. It would taste like a cheeseburger, but it wouldn't. But it's a cookie. It's a cookie. One cookie can take 30 minutes, it can take two hours. Um, it's a, like I said, it's building, and so it can take a course of days. If it takes this long to make a cookie, does it kind of drive you nuts when you see people eat them and just like not even think twice? Uh, it kind of. Sometimes it's like you hand them over and you're like, okay, I know you're gonna eat this. I know it's gonna be consumed, but I put a lot of I put a lot of work into this. Just look at it for like five just seconds. Just look at it. Take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of pictures. <laughs> for the Texas bucket list, you have to have Texas cookies, nice. right? These are amazing. All the greatest things in Texas. <laughs> Our favorites. Some of mine too. Obviously, I'm an Aggie, so my heart is with A&M cookie. Have you ever had to do any Longhorn cookies? I have. And when they ordered these cookies, I told them it was a true testament to how much I loved cookies that I would make Longhorn cookies. And so I've done it two or three times, but I don't, I don't advertise that very often. Monique's Texas-themed cookies are so cool that she actually took home a blue ribbon for them at the Texas State Fair. I won. I was shocked. I was shocked. So how hard could it be to make cookies? Well, I crumbled to the pressure. Texas ready? Bucket List live in the kitchen. Ready to decorate a cookie? Yeah, you bet. Okay. I'm gonna do my best. All right. So you got two consistencies. This is gonna be your outline. That's what you're gonna fill it in with over there. Okay. So pick your favorite color. Oh, blue. All right. No so. <laughs> You're gonna hold it kind of like you hold a pencil. Okay, All my right. dad always criticized me for the way I held my pencil. That's okay. okay, I'll hold it however it feels comfortable. And you're gonna start, touch down at one point, okay. and then squeeze and follow the edge. Okay, we're just going up the edge here. Yeah. Cruising up the South Plains, heading to the Panhandle. Well done. Eh, kind of wonky. It's okay, I gave you the Texas shape because it's easy to outline. Okay. There's lots, there's not very many straight lines. 
plus we know it by heart. <laughs> looky, looky, I made a cookie. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Cheers. Cheers, here's the cookies and here's the, the cookies. Lone Star State there shit. You go. Oh, you went with the panhandle. Yeah. Oh, man. A cookie can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, what's the point? It's so fun to know that you are putting a smile on somebody else's face with something as simple as a cookie. Well, thank you for sharing your cookie company with us. And there's the more cookies. Thank you. You're welcome. These are awesome. Thank you.